Karibu tu Shamba Ship Up Safari. Welcome to Shamba Ship Up. We are in Runyenges in Embu County. We heard of a farmer who is having a problem with his mangoes. So, let's go. This is a shamba of Alex and Irene. They need advice, so we put up our base camp tent. Tell us, Irene, how long have you lived here? I've lived here for 30 years. Oh, 30 years? Yeah. Ah, and how many children do you have? We have four children. Now, do they live here? They don't live here, they are working outside. Aha. Yeah. And how long have you been married? We have been married for 38 years. Oh, 38 years? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Now, Alex, how long have you been farming? Oh, we've been farming here for the last 30 years. What are your main, main problems in your shamba right now? The problem right now is a problem with the mangoes. The production is poor. Ah, poor production of mangoes. And Irene, what can we do for you? Uh, I've been longing to have chicken and I would like to have a... Uh, to have chicken business. Why do you want a chicken business? Because I want to have some uh, uh, money uh -huh. and uh, I want my family to be eating eggs and meat. Wow, you love yeah. eggs and meat? Yes. As well as mangoes and chickens. I'm in the mango plantation with Alex and Sandy Ekesi, experts from Isipe. Isipe develop ways of pest control with limited use of chemicals and they're winning the battle against fruit flies. The problem is that the yield is going low uh, over the years and uh, I want to know why it is getting low and what the solution is. One of the things that may be responsible for this loss is fruit flies. And there are two different kinds of fruit flies as I've displayed here, but I'll show you this particular one that looks like a wasp. Mm. Most of the farmers think that they are wasps, but they are not. What they do is lay eggs on fruits like this, you will see these dark spots. Mm -hmm. And as a result, maggots will develop inside, and this is the result. There is a drop, and as a result, there is a major yield loss in your farm. Mm -hmm. Unlike a clean mango, as you can see in this regard. Right. Sunday is going to show us how to suppress the fruit flies. So what is the first step of getting rid of the fruit flies? Okay, the first thing you do yes. is to get a bait and a trap right and then mix the bait at the instruction on the label put it into the trap and hang it in your orchard that's, that's it that's just that do you have any question how do the fruit flies get attracted to the trap what happens is that the fruit flies like protein and this is a protein bait the females require protein to mature their eggs so they will always like to go and feed on proteins and in that process they will get trapped inside your trap. When you see two fruit flies this week, the next week you see five, the next week you see seven, it tells you that the fruit flies have started coming into your orchard. That is the monitoring process. And now it is time to take action. Sometimes the growers are able to buy the traps that are available in the stores. You can make your own trap using plastic mineral water bottle. You just make the holes that will allow the flies to get inside, put the bait inside and hang it and it will do the same job as the commercially available trap. So, for step one of fighting fruit flies, we mix a protein bait called Mazofem with water. Fill the traps and hang the traps in the mango trees. Now, it's on to find out about Step two. What we have here is the same bait that we use for monitoring. Mm -hmm. But the action we are going to take now is to mix the bait with a killing agent. This is called spinosad. It's also available locally in the market. Right. You mix them and add to this sprayer using the recommendation that is on the label. Right. And then you apply it to one square meter of the canopy. You don't need to cover the entire canopy. Right. Because it's a bait, the flies are attracted to that portion of the canopy. Mm -hmm. They ingest the bait, ingest the killing agent, and they will die. 
Right. And that will solve your problem of fruit flies. Always wear safety clothes when mixing and spraying. Mix 70 milliliters of bait mazofem with one liter of water and add the killing agent at the rate on the label. Always read the instructions. Spray just one square meter of canopy that does not have fruit with about 50 milliliters and repeat on each tree every week. On to step three. So what are these for? This is another component of the management methods for fruit flies. The earlier one we spoke about females that require protein. This particular attractant pulls the male out of the orchard and all you need to do is to mix the liquid with the cotton wick, right. add the same killing agent as we had in the previous one right. and put it inside the strap mm -hmm. and you, f you will find that the males are removed from the orchard. Mm -hmm. The female will have no males to mate with and right. the population will crash. Okay. In that combined method of killing both the females and the males, you quickly reduce the population of the fruit flies in your farm. Wow. Always read the instructions on the label. Oh, are these more fruit flies? No, Alex. These are not fruit flies. These are the natural enemies of fruit flies, otherwise called the farmer's friends. Mm -hmm. These ones laid eggs on the maggots that are found inside the fruits and kill them. Right. And when you complement this with the other management methods, it mm -hmm. will again substantially reduce fruit fly burden in your farm. Ah, Sandy, what do you have here? Is it, we going camping? No. <laughs> this is a tent-like structure. It looks like uh, a tent, but it's a tent for fruit flies. Really? What happens is most of the falling fruits that are left in the orchard acts as a source of continuous breeding for fruit flies. Right. So it is best to collect all those falling fruits and dump them inside the structure. Right. The fruit flies that will come out of the falling fruits will be imprisoned mm -hmm. in this structure. But right. if there are the good guys there, which are the farmer's friends, mm -hmm. they will escape through this fine structure right. that you can see on top of the tent. Alex, what do you do with the mangoes on the ground? I do what most farmers do. I bury them under the ground. That's a, uh, not the right approach. If mm -hmm. you bury them, you also bury the natural enemies or the mm -hmm. farmer's friends. Mm -hmm. So the best thing is to collect them, put them here. When they decompose, you can use the same materials that is there as fertilizers. So it's like a prison. So the bad guys remain here and the good guys out. Absolutely. So Alex puts his fallen bad mangoes in the tent, which will destroy the fruit flies, but the good flies can escape to continue their good work. Don't forget, fruit flies can ruin your mango crop, and with poor mangoes, you'll find it hard to sell them. Using these ESIPE methods, Alex can improve his mango quality and yield, reduce pesticide use and costs, and improve his income. We are learning how to take care of mangoes by destroying the fruit fly. After chatting with Alex and Irene, I'm now with Henry, who is another mango farmer in the region. He uses methods Alex learned earlier from Isipe to control fruit flies. Well, can you tell me about it? Controlling fruit flies at the beginning was very expensive. We were using a lot of money because we were to cover the whole tree with the chemicals. A lot of mangoes used to be destroyed by the fruit flies mm -hmm. and I was not comfortable with the mango farming mm -hmm. until when I met Isipe. Henry has been successfully using Isipe methods for 10 years. Now that you've used it, are the yields better? Oh yes, you kill, if possible, mm -hmm. all the fruit flies. Right before they infect the, the mangoes. Yes. So you are likely to sell all the fruits from your farm. I've just started using the traps, the sipe methods. How long shall I take to see the benefits? Actually, it will not take long. The first time you use it, you'll get some improvement in your crop. You may not have 100% recovery of your fruits, mm -hmm. but by the subsequent years, you will be improving on your sales very, very drastically. And this is something I've seen. I wanted to show you an example. What we have here is a catch from one week. 
If this trap remained working for four weeks, it would have filled up. Mm -hmm. And if you have five traps of this nature, then you have eradicated a lot of males and the female fruit flies will be laying and fertilized eggs which will never hatch to and yeah. not fruit flies. And right. that is one method, a cheap method, of reducing the, the population of fruit flies in the orchard. So would you advise all the mango farmers to use this method? In fact, we are trying to encourage all of them, mm -hmm. if possible, to use this method because, as you hear, it is cost-effective mm -hmm. and it is environment-friendly and you get a lot of money from your sales. The success of another mango farmer proves how beneficial a CIPA method will be to Alex to combat fruit flies. It's been another great show right here on Shamba Shepherd. Shepherd.